when we tell you something that slows you down or puts something in front of you that takes you off course, like the cold or a flu, it's always a sign that you need to heed. We're telling you to slow down, take a rest, don't keep going in the same direction you're going. Pauses are not something you should get anxious about, but pay attention to why they are there. A break on your path and a detour to the plan are good things, giving you a chance to reconsider certain aspects of it. If you ignore the guidance we are sending you and just continue on your path toward an, an expected outcome, your life will become difficult. Okay, so that's what we're talking about tonight. It's about when we get those pauses and detours and how we handle them, how, how we need to take that moment. We're not used to doing that, you guys. We're used to slamming through our life and forcing things, you know, chasing things. And you know what? It doesn't work. It, it only makes you frustrated. It only tires you out, burns you out. And that's not the answer to all that. So... So, Ray, how are we doing over there? Well, I can't find it. Okay, Ray's looking on the Facebook feed there you are. for there you are. your questions and answers so or comments. So, feel free. Do we have the comment part up, Ray? Yeah, we do. We do? Okay. So, tell, tell me what we have there, Ray. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Keep talking. Okay. Well, I'm ready for you to go ahead with the comments that were left on the feed today. Okay. So I don't want to push you past. So if you guys who are on with us right now, just give us a hello. Uh, that way we know that you're there. We can't see you. Okay. No, yes, you kind of scroll. Yeah. That's going to change pretty soon, by the way. We've got a surprise for you Seems guys. Seems like the whole Mark Zuckerberg again. Something's going to come up in September, starting in September, mm -hmm. that we're going to launch. And you're, you're going to be able to be with us live on location. Okay. Mm. That's the first time we're going to be doing this. So um, it's not the first time, but it's the first time we've, that we've done it in a while. In a while. Yeah. So, um, so Ray, okay, so go, ahead, so have, go uh, ahead and let us know if you're there. Okay. So Ray can tell what's going on on the feed. If I can see it. All right. Yeah. Comments. So, well, we had a comment from Joy. Now, this was on the post today regarding when guidance presents pauses and detours, okay? So Ray's gonna, Ray's gonna read them off. Okay. Joy said, uh, the mantra, when there is a pause, there are most likely flaws. Really spoke to me. I have had an issue in my life that continues to drag on. I have allowed it to cause me great anxiety every day, hoping for a resolution that does not come. I have asked, or guidance and have been told that things happen in divine timing. I have come to the conclusion that things are being set up for my greatest good and in hindsight, I will understand it all. And Linda Deer responded. How many of us go through that? Every day. Okay. Yeah. So that's, this is a good one to go. It's ahead. like a Groundhog Day thing. It is. Okay. Linda said these stubborn cases require us to completely let it go. Write down in your journal what the situation is about, how it makes you feel, what you currently realize, and the action or inaction that you will take. Then release it. You are no longer in the way of the solution or the resolution showing up. Okay. You, you will recognize it. Okay. Is that the end of that part? Okay. I want to say this. It's like surrendering. Okay. It's like, okay, I can't do this. I know this thing's got me. When I say write it down, I'm talking about... In part three of my guided journey, the my journal writing part, part three, you go in there and you write down what's hanging you up. What is it that you're trying to resolve, figure out what you need help with, what you can't seem to overcome, figure out, you know, write it down. And like I said to Joy in this uh, response, I said, make sure that you talk about how it felt, you know, and what what you realize what or what you hope to realize from it and the action you intend to take or not all right once you do the work you write it down you close it up this is how you can put it away you can take it off to get it out of your head and stop 
dwelling on it. Quit trying to outsmart it. Figure it out yourself, all right? You're never alone. You're always being guided, so let them help you. You take it, you put it down, you put it to the side. You handed it off. You did the best you could do with it. You're not going to forget what it is that you need an answer to, that you need to understand better, that you need to 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 merge with so you can go get through it, okay? That you can accept, that you haven't thought about. It's filled with all kinds of those kind of things. And then when it does appear, when the answer does come, when the resolution does show up, when whatever that is, it happens. You're going to go, well, what was it exactly that I needed to know? Here it is. This is how it's really going to solidify for you. It's how you're going to understand it fully. Okay? You'll be done once you do that. Then write in there what came through about that particular dilemma. Okay? You, you've got to do that work because you're still you're going to miss it. You're not going to recognize the resolution, the solution, the answer, unless you wrote it down. You're not going to connect with it. Okay, go ahead. What's the next one? It's uh, from Viola. And Viola said, my partner moved out after I communicated that I needed time and space for myself. However, I love him very much and he loves me very much. I propose that we stay in the relationship and live apart and follow our gut and guidance in what we need. Thankfully, he understands and agrees. It all happened very fast. Two months ago, I received guidance that he is the man for me. He's the one. And now this looks like a detour. What are the guides telling me with this detour? Can I live with him? Can I, can, I can't live with him, can't live without him. Love from the Netherlands. <laughs> so what did I say, Ray? Uh, we will ask your spirit guides tonight when we are live. Right. So we're going to let the guides talk to her about that situation. Your guides are always with you. They see everything that's going on with you. And all we do is connect with that guidance. And she basically gave permission by putting out that comment, that question, and really requested that her guides talk to her about it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let them talk to her about it. No one knows you better than your guides. All right. So... Here they go, Viola. Hello, Viola. It's all about how you look at a detour. When you are driving and encounter a detour, it just means that you have to take an alternate route. Now, how you react to the detour is important. Do you get anxious and upset and say things like, oh, I'm going to be late for work. How could this happen? Now, what if you didn't see it as a, a negative thing? What if this detour is going to show you more interesting things about each other along the way. It would be like driving on a trip and having to take a detour. Along that detour, you saw some amazing things and sights that you wouldn't have if you had gone on your original route. So in this case, the detour 
was a good thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, here's what I want to say to you. Uh, um, as the guides are talking to you like this, I get impressions that come through. I've been doing this for 30 years, so that's how this really works, and that's how it works when you learn to do it. You'll get impressions. You'll get more information, like little blocks of, of downloads of information that come through from the guides, okay? So this thing, here's what I'm getting with you, Viola. What you've done and what your boyfriend has done and agreed to do, where you guys are, are connecting with this really well. You both agreed, but you both agreed to also, sto also stay together and there's nothing wrong with the relationship. You're just going about it differently, differently than you ever have. And I know that. I think that might be true for him too. I feel that, okay. So the fact that you're going about this differently, you're now open. You are both open to the possibilities. Otherwise, you would have just stayed in a traditional relationship that put up with a lot of tolerated, a lot of things that really weren't good for e either one of you, but you went about doing that anyway just because you don't. You didn't really have an imagination about how to go about it any other way, because that's how it's always been done. But you stepped out of that. That's what's good about this. Now you can actually learn something new. That the possibilities in this now about this relationship and how this relationship can breathe, and be authentic, and be honest, and be something that you really treasure, both of you, and you respect each other way more than had you held yourself into some kind of boundary the way it's always been done. That's what we need, need to break out of, you guys. See, we've got to, the guides try to point to us that way. They try to, okay, I'm, there's one part of this that I didn't read that's really ties into this. Oh, let me see here. I'll just go off my memory because I'm not seeing it on the page. This is the insight that we came that we did today. But they but the guides talk about letting you just babble on, okay? Just going about your business and just let you maybe it's the insight for next week. Uh, let you go about doing what you're doing and they just they can't interfere. It's your free it's your life, it's your free will that takes you where you're going. But what's really good about you guys, Viola, is you're taking your free will up an octave. You're, you're rising above the situation the way that it's not really working and you both agree on that, but you also both agree that you love each other. So how do you access this higher octave, this higher way of being in this relationship where it's something you really want, both of you? That's what you're doing. This is really cool what you're doing. It's going to work out way better than had you planned it yourself. Now you're open to the guidance. You both are. This is very good. We all we all need to learn from this, you guys. Detours and pauses. Okay, that's beautiful. That's how you use it to your advantage. That's how you harness it instead of letting it beat you up. All right? That's a, that's a really good way to look at it. You know, I did some my usual research about detours and because I, I started thinking about what happens when I would run into a detour. Yeah. You know, if you think it's bad, I'm going to be late, you know, yeah. or I'm, I'm not going to make it on time. Not going to, I don't know where I'm going because I'm in a strange city. Yeah. What, what if it's the wrong way? What if kids turn the sign around? You know, like we used to when we were little kids. And don't I'm, you love I'm going that? The wrong way. <laughs> but um, you're going to end, if, you're going to end up in the right in the right place, the right destination. It's um, how, how to say it. It takes a wrong turn sometimes to get to the right place. You know, and it's a lot about how you look at it. Is it a wrong turn or is it the right way you're supposed to go at that time in your life? Well, what well, emotion do you have around that 
that detour? Are right. you afraid? Are you uh, that it's wrong? That it's, you're not going to be able to get to where you wanted to go? Yeah. What's the insecurity around it? Exactly. What, yeah. What's the insecurity around it? So it, there, there's a song called uh, Take the Long Way Home. I, I can relate to that one from my previous marriage. I hated going home at night after work. I hated it. I was unhappy in that relationship, and I used to take the long way home. And on my way home, I would think about things. Things would pop into my head, guidance. I would see things that I didn't pay attention to before. I was open because, I mean, I was looking for an option, right? And I was, and I, so I took the long way home. You give yourself, give yourself a an option to go a different way. That would be what Ray would be talking about. That's what made me think about that. Take another way home. If you feel like you're stuck and you can't get out of a rut or try something else, let the guidance come through. Break break your old habit like Viola just talked about. She, she they're, they're separate now. They still love each other. They're separate now. She's trying something she's never tried before. So is he. And they agreed to it. Wow. That's amazing. And so you have to put it out there. You have to go, okay, I, I'm, hit, I'm hitting some pauses and detours, all right? Okay, so that's, that's where this really comes into play. My Guided Journey is the companion journal to my award-winning, best-selling autobiography, Guided. Part three of My Guided Journey, you want to write this stuff down. So when it does come up and it starts to show up, now you're in the flow. You're not resisting anything. You're not going, oh, I can't do that. I can't, I can't ask him to leave. No. You know, where, where you have boundaries, you, you can't get past it. You can't let it go. You can't trust. You're not present. It's the whole thing, okay? You're, 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 you're frozen. You're paralyzed. You're, you're, you're locked up. If you're doing that, Wow, you, you, you go, go take a walk. Let it go. Relax your body. Move yourself around. Let that go because that's not serving you. Okay? Let the pauses in detours, the guidance work for you, not against you. Well, in Viola's case with her friend, yeah, I think they they handled it very well, rather than so well procrastinating about well, what should we do? What should or we blaming do? each other or, and right. fighting and and causing tension and making it into something it's not okay. You didn't do any of that. I think they approached it with um, a couple of things: patience and discipline. Yeah, and you know what, love and love. When you when you really love somebody, you don't play with that relationship. You look at it and go, oh man, I can't, I can't figure it out, and you can't figure it out. But I'm not going to blame you, and I'm not going to beat me up. But we're going to have to re let release this. We can meet for dinner, we can, you know, talk on the phone and stuff like that. But we need a break so we can see what guidance is trying to show us. The uh, higher octave, the better way of having a relationship. I, I love what you're doing, Viola. Very, very good. So people who would have fear of change or fear of failure in the relationship wouldn't have approached it like that. Never, never. No. Or if they didn't trust each other. You guys trust each other. It's already, you've already started out on the right foot here. All right? There's, <laughs> this is going to work out so much better than had you guys tried to figure it out on your own. Right. Let the guidance help you let it work for you what do we have Ray? Uh, Linda Arlene Schwartz is, is joined us welcome back to the United States Linda <laughs> Evie Diaz Evie hi uh, oh, Veronica uh, Linda says something about a spirit guide told me decades ago take the long way home like the song yeah, explore everything that you see along the way leave this plane with you know when the time comes always stick Always stick with the plan. Always stick to the destination. You're going to get to the same destination. No matter how many detours or pauses you take on your trip, you're going to get to the – we're all getting to the last destination, the, the final destination. There is no final destination, is there? Well, here, there's just that last exit ramp. Here. 
<laughs> That's right. So it's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, we need to embrace it. All right. I'll tell you what, this guy right here, right? I, I really mean this. He's the only, he's the only, this, this has been the only relationship that I, I could say anything to Ray. I could tell Ray, you know, I think we need to blah, blah, blah. And he never, never takes that personally. He, and you know why? He doesn't feel threatened in this relationship. He knows he's loved in the deepest way. He knows he's needed so much. Okay, how could you ever feel threatened, you guys? It's not possible. So when you have that relationship, when you have somebody in your life that, that you know that you can be yourself, be straight up with them, be honest with them, tell the truth how many relationships do you know that you've been in that you could tell the truth i'm talking about family parents siblings uh friendships uh, how how many of them can you tell the truth be who you are okay yeah most of the time you can't tell family or friends because you're worried about what they're going to think of you how they're going to judge you for what you said or did so they're not accepting you for who you are okay right. viola and her boyfriend Man, you guys, they have something here that we need to be paying attention to. This is the right way to treat the situation. You want to be with somebody you that you love, but you that respects you, and somebody where you can trust each other. The guides always say this, always. They say love and truth are the same thing. So when you hear the truth, whether you like the truth or not, whether you like what you just heard, if it's the truth, it's the truth, okay? Love and truth are the same thing. When you, when they tell you the truth, the guides tell you the truth, you know it's the truth because you can feel the love. Viola and her boyfriend were able to come to this, to come to this agreement for the time being, so that they could be open, because the love and the truth are both there. Okay, that's why. If it was only truth or just love, then that would never have worked. Viola's walking her talk. Right. We need to walk our talk. If you fill yourself with somebody that you love, but you can't tell them the truth, you can't talk to her about the truth, or whoever you are with, then you're in the wrong relationship. It will never work. You can have the relationship until death do you part or any of that, but it's not real. It's not authentic. It's not letting you breathe and be who you are and be free to be who you are and love you for that. That's... That's what makes all the difference in the world. So trusting the guidance, the pauses, the detours, If when you're in a situation like that and we all bump into that or have a little bit of it in our life in some way, just focus on being present, be present, write down part three, write down what that is, what, you're, what you seem to be battling with inside. It's always an inside job. We do this to ourselves. Write it here and release it. It will take care of itself. Now you've handed it off to the guides. They will they will send you the obvious truth and love around that dilemma you're going through. That's always the test. The guides always say that, you know, truth and love are the same thing. So when somebody tells you, I love you, and you don't feel loved, it's not the truth. Right. Something, there's some manipulation going on. There's some, some, under uh, something going on under that whatever they said that's not real it's not the truth it's not it's not authentic it's not it's not they're hiding something right and, or, or, else, or maybe they're lying to themselves and they actually believe it we've seen this you guys right you're lying to yourself when you tell We're, yourself something yeah and, and you don't feel that's that's just not right you, you're not loving yourself yeah if you feel like if you get the truth and you sit back and you go well, that wasn't very nice. It, you know, the, I, I don't want to hear that. That's your problem. Okay. The truth is the truth. It doesn't mean to hurt you. It's totally not, not designed to do that. It's designed to set you free. The truth will set you free, right? We've heard this. That's what it's designed to do. So don't take it personally. And it works all the time. It's not just with you, people you're in a personal relationship with. You can be at work and some one of your coworkers says something to you. And it just, in your gut, you go, something's not right with that. That's right. 
That's right. That's not right. And I, so you, and then in that situation, I don't believe that. And then you don't feel the love. You didn't feel any love transferred. And you know what it is? Love. The connection's not there. The love is the connection. It's the energy. It's the connection, right? The energy, the connection. It's missing. So when they just go pow and hit you with something that they claim is true, but you don't feel the connection, you don't feel the love, then watch yourself. That's how you know, all right? That's not guidance. That's how you know. When it's guidance, you feel the love. You always feel the love, the wisdom behind it. Right. All right? Okay. The trust. You can trust it. Okay, what else? Ray, what else do we have there? Well, we have some more fans here. Let's see. You guys, ask your questions. We want your questions around this thing about pauses and detours. Yeah, or examples of where you've had them in your life. Yeah, you know? and, yeah. But while I was doing my preparation, as I always do, yeah, I came across a couple of good quotes about detours. Okay. I even made up some quotes about detours. We'll see if the, you want to hear those there. Uh. Sometimes the most scenic roads in your life are the detours that you didn't mean to take. You didn't expect it. Right. Right. And that's the beauty of it. The, the, best, the best life that you'll ever lead is the one that's led by guidance. But you have to go that way. You have to first connect with it. You have to grab it when it comes through. Write it down. Part three of My Guided Journey. Write it down so that when the guidance does come through about whatever that is, or it may be something you didn't even think about, boom, it just came through and it pointed you in a new direction. Or it, it 15 degrees from where you were, just off that path that you thought was right for you okay and and then if you don't go that way it only makes your life harder i can only tell you that when you don't follow it you don't make those little corrections and move that way and it's an interplay it's a it's a relationship you have with your guidance it's going on all day and all night all the time it's gentle it never shouts at you it's very very gentle it's calm it's patient another thing is you never choose a detour detours just pop up in your they life do. it's not like you're driving along to work today i think i'll take a detour this way see if i can end up at work you don't you don't decide you don't decide on the detour no okay? they're presented to you that's so, why when they're presented you write them down so you don't miss what's coming next and then what comes next your life is fun again, you guys. And then when you look back at it, you go, that was obvious. <laughs> I'm glad I went that way. I'm glad I listened. And I feel good. I love this. Okay. Yeah, they're not bad. No. These are not bad. They should be looked at as like a, a, a new little side adventure. They are, right? Yeah. All right. You want to hear something? And we're too? still waiting for your questions. We yeah, need to get we, questions we, from we these guys, crazy. right? We talked about this. We need your questions, you guys. Come on. Give us some questions. We need this interaction. And when you ask us the question about your pauses and detours that you've been presented with, your guides are going to speak to you about it. So bring them on, all right? Oh, we have a stranger here amongst us we haven't seen for a while. Bridget. 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 Hi, Bridget. We were, think we were just talking about you the other day, and Kimberly's here, Kimberly Williams. Great, you guys. Ask your questions about pauses and detours in your life, all right? So that your guides can speak to you about that particular thing in your particular life. Use this time. Here's a very keen insight by Linda Schwartz. She said she had, she said seeming, uh, seeming uh, a seemingly detour situation. She was been writing a book about self-healing, and now she has to have a hip replacement. Ouch, she says. Feeling like a fraud, but finally accepting it, I'm imagining that it will allow me to relate to and reach a broader cross-section of people, you know, having experienced that. That is true. That's a very astute observation. That really is. And we're going to let her guides, Ray. That was well thought out and, and presented, uh, Linda. And we're going to let your guides talk to you about this situation with your with your hip and and what they have to tell you because we never know okay 
And here they go, Linda. Linda, you have stumbled upon something very important and insightful. It's very simple, yet most people miss it. The detour is the path. The detour is the path. In your case, what you talked about and the way you explained it is your new path. It's now all of you, okay? It's not, not none of the parts of you should ever be rejected. It is what makes you, you. And, and then you have more to offer. Like Linda's, this is what Linda's really talking about here. Let me get something here. And what else do we have there, Ray? Kimberly says, I love the calm that knowing I'm not alone. Right. Absolutely. Okay, let me get to this. I'm looking something up for you, Linda. Well, in, while you're looking that up, I'm yeah. going to read one of the quotes that I made you up. You please, Ray. You know how good I am at quotes, right? Yeah. A detour is much better than a dead end. How's that? Well, what is a dead end? Probably, I think I'll take a detour this way, and you drive down there, and it's a cul-de-sac. Well, yeah. I, well okay. A, a dead end is really abrupt, right? And you gave up on the destination. You, you don't get to your destination. It's a dead end. Well, well, you let the you let the destination that you had in mind go, because it is a dead end. Okay. Right. So what do you do when you hit a, a dead end? You turn around, and you go back out the way you came in, right? Right. Until you can find your path again. Yes. Until you until, actually, the path finds you. You know that, Ray? That's it. I have one more. I hope that's better than that one. A good batter can still hit a curveball. I'm going to let you. I'm going to focus on this. All right. You talk about it. Well, it, that comes from my history, my my younger years when I was on the only little league team from my tiny town that went to the state finals. A good batter can hit curveball. So when they people say, "Well, life threw a curveball at me," right. Exactly. That's your detour. That is. You're, you, that's, you're, you're veering off now. You're being guided to go just a little bit off from that. Okay? That's what that's all about. So, Linda, this thing about your hip, um, uh, the hip, it, it, uh, it's about the fear of going forward in, major, in a major decision. Okay, you've been perplexed about a major decision in your life. This is a long-standing decision, by the way, a major decision in your life that you have finally come to terms with. So it has to do, the, the hip replacement is just the, it's the byproduct of what's been trying to reach you and trying to get through to you, okay? But this has been a hip replacement when somebody has a hip replacement. The need for it goes on sometimes for years before they have it done. So this has been going on for years with you, something about, a major decision in your life that you are now ready to face and deal with. You're not putting it off anymore. You're not, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not pretending it's not there. You're not, you're not, you know, trying to turn it into something else. You're not trying to fix it. You're not trying to make it happen. You're, you're now you're, you're moving past it. You're not letting it control you anymore. You've released it. And now you're going to get this, balance back in your life where that's why what you came up with you were able to do that you were not able to do that a year ago you were not able to see that a year ago the the whole point here is the fact that you got this and the guides even said you got this one linda you're you're now ready to, to get this hip replacement thing done and get your life back by the way hip replacements when people get them done it's amazing how fast they come back right. and how healthy they are. I mean, then everything just works in your life almost overnight. So you are on your way. 
you something that has been gnawing at you for years is finally going to be released all right you're ready to you are ready to deal with it plus you have to think about what your hips allow you to do your hips allow you to pivot yeah okay so if you're locked up and you've been fighting this change that you knew it was coming or you should have been should have went that way this detour showed up you fought it no you just kept going now with the hip replacement she can pivot you, yeah you get your movement back your right. motion back you 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 get your you get you back okay so linda good job awesome totally awesome all right let's see if we get anybody else here we love it when you guys come up with comments yep. questions we need that we need to let you talk to your guides and find out what's going on with you 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 guys are doing great. Okay. Ray's looking at the feed right now. Yeah, Bitdefender wants to update our database. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> Kimberly Williams says, I have had so many obstacles in my life, and now that, they're, now that we're talking about it, I can name those times that I remember, and I can say to my guides, oh, that was you, thanks. <laughs> yep. That's right. Yep. That's right, Kimberly. Thank you, Linda Schwartz says thank you. She had tried all kinds of holistic remedies that didn't work. and Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. And you know what? It, it had to do with what's going on here, Linda. And that's what you got right. You got this right. And I don't know how this is all going to shake out for you. You get the hip surgery done, you're going you're to glide right through it. You get You come out the other side of it, you are... A new person not just on your hip but you are a new person you are ready to move forward nothing is stopping you from going in the direction that you intend to go you get your life back Linda because you're back right, right? you're not fighting this thing anymore now Kimberly, Kimberly. Now, now Kimberly let's let her guides she she made a great point there would you read that one more time Ray? she says She's had so many obstacles in her life, and now that we're talking about it, she can name those times when she remembers, and she can say to her guides, oh, that was you. Thank you. And we're going to let your guides comment on what you just said, Kimberly, and thank you for sharing with us, and here they go. Kimberly, <laughs> all those previous detours were things you fought. Now, recently, you were given a detour with your career options and using your college degree or not to move forward or take the next detour in your life. Once you accepted this detour as guidance, within two weeks, you were already moving in a new direction. Now, you know what this is, Kimberly. Yep. And you know what you did. And you know the new path that you're on. Right. It has to do with your art. Yep, and it's interesting that it's birds here flying, who fly, getting ready to take off. God, I love this, this guy. This woman, this woman is an amazing artist. She's awesome. If you guys are in the the private, or it's the uh, the secret, ask, ask Universal ask, Channel. You ask the Universal Channel Facebook group. You'll see what we're talking about. Or they can go to Kimberly's page on Facebook. And what's her? What is her page? Kimberly Williams. Okay, she's right there in the feed. You can go right to her page, and you'll see her artwork. This yeah, is guidance. Is. This is guidance she got from the guides. What from less than a month ago? Less than a month ago, uh, in one of our sessions with her, and they told her exactly what they saw, and she's she moved on it. She didn't That's, sit there and go, well, I don't know, you know, maybe I don't feel like it right now. I. I, I have other things to do. I can't. Eh, eh. She didn't do any of that. She went right after it. That's called the too much complaining or too many excuses response to a, a detour. You miss your guidance when you do that, right. you guys. So, you know, the, the detours and, the, and all the things that got in our way before now, 
is is putting her in a direction where she jumped she jumped on that train you know she didn't waste any time jumping on that train because it was already here as soon as, soon as she heard it she knew it okay she just before that she didn't have the little push the little guidance the the support the love the truth to support her that she felt she could connect with and then when she did it was all history now she's on her way she's gonna be famous she's amazing amazing artist Kimberly says yes she did she got right on that and she says I'm very shocked at the response that she's been given oh god yeah it, see uh you have to follow your passions your heart your your the, the the talents and gifts that you came in with you guys that's where it's at your guides will always take you back to that and point you that way all right so okay this has been a great session it I, was a great session i love this you guys are trusting this and the most important thing is when you get that detour and that pause that you stay present don't panic stay present don't overthink it okay stay present write it down in your journal be sure to do that and let it work for you okay it's not supposed to be hard all right you guys so what are we gonna be doing tomorrow tomorrow we've got some good stuff coming up let me find my stuff Ray. where it where... mine no i'm good okay so tomorrow wednesday june 26th at 6 p.m pacific time join me on my facebook page right here linda dear author this will be this will be about accepting the truth bring your questions and find out how accepting the truth is critical to your life going forward mm -hmm. using my guided journey your spirit guides and i will help you with this so i want you guys to show up uh bring your questions about where you might have challenges around accepting the truth in any area of your life we're going to use we're going uh, when when we talk about this i'm going to refer you to what cha whatever chapter in part two taking the journey there's 18 chapters in part two i'm going to help you see the one that you need to focus on and get some inner work done all right but we're going to take a look at your question we're going to let your your guides talk to you and we're going to then point you to the right chapter to work on that and we help you with that all right so show up uh that'll be tomorrow you know a lot of people would say well i don't have any trouble accepting the truth but i think uh when the truth comes at you as criticism i think a lot of people have trouble accepting the truth okay so give me an example of that ray uh you you do something you know you, you write, okay, here you go. You've written five books. You don't get all five-star reviews. You get some bad reviews, but you don't let that affect you. Right. But criticism, even though it's true in the person's eyes that delivered that truth, that was their truth. That wasn't your truth. Okay, I see what Ray's talking about. So how do you accept the truth when it's not true? Is criticism the truth? No. If you're being criticized, that's not true. Your guides would never criticize you. Right. That's why you know it. The truth makes you feel loved. Criticism is not the truth because it doesn't make you feel loved. That's right. So that's the difference between what Ray's talking about about criticizing you. Somebody's attacking you. All right. And I have had some of that. I mean, to be an author, you, you, you're once in a while. It doesn't happen too often, but once in a while, I get a really nasty, mean review. Vicious. Yeah. There's just that's what happens when you put yourself out there, and sometimes you're going to get somebody coming at you. There's there's jealousy, there's anger, there's whatever it happens to be something in them that needs to. Re they need to resolve that 
don't take that on, you guys. Criticism is not love. Love and truth. That's the real thing. That's right. what we'll be talking about tomorrow. We'll be you? talking about that. So bring those questions. If you guys have a part of your life where you're being criticized and you're being abused, okay, bring it on. Yeah. And your guides are going to help you break through what that is so that you don't you don't take that personally because that's not productive. That's not good for you. That's not helping you grow. All right? You know what I've noticed? What's that great? That all around the world, there's statues to famous authors. But there's not one stat statue to a famous critic. <laughs> That's right. So don't let them get you down, you yeah. guys. All right. So Thursday, this Thursday, mm. June 27th at 6 p.m. Pacific time, join us on our Facebook secret group. Now, Ray has the... Uh, the the links the links for all this in the description. Ask the Universal Channel to talk to the students about how it feels to teach the other members to do this for themselves, to do this, to master doing this. Okay, we've got a group of of people that have really been getting this right. Okay, and Ray and I are have taught them how to do this, and then how to how to how to channel their spirit guides and angels the correct way. In other words, it's, it's one thing just to get information and just blah, 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 blah. Okay, but you, you have to align with this so that you bring in the highest, highest frequency, the highest information, the highest guides. And that's how we teach them. We taught them to do this, and that's how they teach you to do this. They actually have classes they teach on this secret group, Ask the Universal Channel, for free. But you have to belong to the group. You have to ask to get in. And the, the, the links are there for you to take a look at it in the description. So that's going to be exciting. Next Tuesday, July 2nd, join me right here on my Facebook page, Linda Dear Author. This will be a Q&A and commentary with me and my spirit guides at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So don't miss it. In Linda's Weekly Guided Insights, my spirit guides will be talking about becoming a good listener. When you listen, you become more responsive rather than reactionary in your speech and thoughts. You become clearer and have less confusion in your life. The chaotic becomes calm. You find that even you find that you even begin to like the time you have freed up to listen. You're no longer concerned with being so talkative by filling up the dead space all around you. Hopefully, by putting this into practice, you become tolerant and less opinionated. So who should you be listening to? The connection to your guides is a byproduct of becoming a better listener. All right. So this is becoming a better listener is a matter of one thing. It's a matter of becoming present. When you're present, you're not anxious. You're not trying to outthink the situation or, or, or what the person's saying. You're not, you're really listening. You're listening to that person like they're the only person on the planet. You are completely present as you listen to that person. It's, it, it's a practice in being present. I'll tell you what I did one time. I talk about it in, I think I talked about it in Guided. I'm pretty sure I did. I definitely put it up on one of my posts. I talked about the time when, it, I don't know, it was the early 80s. I decided to not say anything anymore. When it came to business, I had to conduct business. That was okay. But small talk or just general uh, conversations, I had nothing to say. I, I listened. I focused on listening and just being present. I did that for about two or three months. Boy, did that become a comfortable place for me. I didn't have to have all the answers, you guys. I didn't have to work so hard at anything, okay? I just got to sit back and just enjoy what was going on around me, listen to what was going on, 
and just let it be. I can't tell you how much that helped me. In the process of doing that, I wrote down what I realized. I wrote down in my journal that I had at the time what I was realizing and how I was learning from that. It was amazing. So this thing about listening is more important than you think. It, may, it just makes you feel like you can breathe again. Like you don't have to have all the answers anymore. And the connection to your guides is instant because you're present. You can't connect to your guides unless you're present because they only reside in the present moment. I've told you that many times. So when you let yourself just relax, when you go to dinner with your friends or you do whatever, just become a better listener, practice it, and then talk about it to yourself in your, in your journal, in part three, the journal writing part. So you can start to see your progress. It's going to surprise you. And you're going to move through this really quickly. And this connection you have to your guides is just going to get more solid. After all, they listen to you all the time. That's all they do is listen. You never hear them butt in. They only, you only hear them when you slow down and you, and you listen, all right? It's good practice. So great. Do we have any other questions? One, one comment before Kimberly says, okay. uh, thank you, Linda, for writing your book because she now has an amazing gift of communication with her guides and I know you do. She has new friends that she's found from being here in participation, at least four new friends. You know what, Kimberly, you have friends that are unconditional friends, friends that needed you right. as, a, as a friend too. I'm talking about real, real friends, not friends that, that criticize you, but friends that support you. But unfortunately, that's rare. You guys, we're gonna change this world. We're gonna do this together. Most right. people are friends because of what they you can get for them. What is that phrase that you say? They love you because what? Some people love you for who you are. Most people love you for what you can do for them. And some people just don't love you at all. That's too bad. We're going to change that too. Yeah. We're just going to be, we're going to be what that is. And then that's going to be the example. We don't have to change anybody. We don't have to fix anybody. We don't have to chase anybody. Or make them do anything we just be who we are and they go oh my god i haven't seen that around w what's that <laughs> that's the real thing that's the authentic person they're looking at all right so we're going to close this session tonight with that final message from the guides the closing message about when guidance presents pauses and detours and you guys were fabulous tonight they were and we want to see you tomorrow night show up when you are stuck by a detour, it's not for a, a lack of knowledge, nor a lack of inspiration. It's usually about allowing procrastination to creep in, a desire for perfectionism before you take action, a feeling that you have too many time constraints or just too much complacency and no urgency. Look at the detours and pauses as a time to Step back, take a breath, and go full out toward 
your destination following a new road. So what they were saying here is sometimes we get comfortable where we're at and we get these this guidance that takes us in a new direction, a detour, a, a pause, a, whatever it is. And we get comfortable with that. So we just go, you know, that's interesting and that's kind of cool. But um, my life's working out and I, I have nothing pressuring me. But it won't take long when you miss those, when you miss connecting the dots. That's what I call it. There's guidance and you act on it. There's guidance and you act on it. And there it is again. And, and then you act. And then there it is again. You go, well, you know, I, I don't, I'm tired now. I, I don't want to do it right now. I don't feel like it. You miss that one, that one connection in the daisy chain, that connection. Your life will still work out, but it'll be watered down. It'll be less effective. It will be just okay. When it could have been incredibly spectacular. So you, that's the whole point. You don't want to get complacent. You don't want to just sit back and go, well, I'll do it if I feel like it now, but maybe I won't feel it. You know, I'll do this one, but not that one. And I talk about it in Guided, about missing those opportunities. When I, whenever I did decide to, well, maybe not right now. Man, the pain I took on from not doing it. And I couldn't see it, what they showed me. I could not see it. But it had only I followed that guidance. Oh my God. It would have saved me years. Okay. Not to mention the pain I went through. It wasn't necessary. So you can avoid all that. Once you get used to this, once you get in the groove and you start seeing the payoff, you gotta write it down because you won't trust it until you write it down and then you see the result and go, oh, that was the guidance for that question. That was the guidance for that concern. That was you won't connect them unless you start doing it this way. This brings you back into consciousness. Believe it or not, we're not very conscious on this planet, you guys, most people. So we've got to do the work. We've got to we've got to catch ourselves. Write it down. And you won't believe how fast you'll move through this. Yeah. You won't doubt your, you will not doubt your guidance anymore. You won't doubt yourself. All right. We'll see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow Show up. Night. Yeah, tomorrow night. And we'll see you maybe Thursday. It's going to be great, you guys. And we'll see you next Tuesday. A full lineup, huh, you guys? Yep. Good night, everybody. Good night. Be kind. <laughs>